Gloucester's first defeat of 2015 at the hands of Leicester last week was never likely to become a slump with the exiles at King's Home, but this ultimately routine victory came at some cost. An ankle injury had already ended Henry Trinder's first start since September by the time flanker Ross Moriarty powered over for the home side's opening try. If the Welsh defence took some breaching there, it was far more accommodating just five minutes later. A huge gap opening up for Charlie Sharples, and the Cherry and White seem set to put on a show. Unfortunately, the weather rather intervened. The wind and the hail put pay to the running rugby, and Gloucester kept things simple, especially once Welsh wing Alan Orcock was sin-binned. Matt Kvesic, who also picked up an injury later, darted over, and Gloucester led 27-3 after half an hour. But the Exiles did manage pockets of resistance on their way to league defeat number 15. Lock Dean Schofield looked to have got over the line, only for the TMO to reveal that the ball had beaten him to it by a split second. But soon after half-time, Welsh weren't to be denied. Some neat handling, allowing skipper Carl Kerwin to score under the posts. By then, Sharples had joined the home side's growing injury list, and Gloucester's momentum was stalling. But they had just the man to sniff out any hint of a fight back. Henry Purdy under the high ball, and then off for the line to secure the try bonus with around half an hour left to play. But now the sun was out again, but the hailstorm had left a mud bath in its wake, and the next 20 minutes were heavy going before Purdy struck again. Some quick thinking on the touchline, and then too much pace and power for the Welsh defence to resist. And in the last minute of the game, power was all Tongan prop Sila Puafisi required to add a little more gloss to Gloucester's fifth straight win at King's Home. The final polish came from James Hook, flawless from the tee all afternoon for a personal haul of 18 points. Welsh easily mastered in the end, the weather a little more challenging.